All right, so should be another one of the sites in here. The uh, thing that I want is the uh, skin for one of the new ships. All the way up here, Torrent Death Glow Remnant skin. Hmm. Oh, did I repair this while I was here? No, I forgot. <sighs> Oops, wrong thing. Dock, Dock up, accepted. get repair. It's gonna take a little bit of work to to get this done, isn't it? You know? You know, I should put a uh, armor repair in the high. I have one high slot open, then I could just repair it in the field. How long have I been playing Eve? Long time. My first character would have been 20 years old now. I don't have any longer. That's a whole other story. I actually lost my original character in the game in divorce. She was... She was pretty adamant on winning at all costs. And she won my she won my Eve account. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Right. Take out the oracles first. Wow, they're peeling off my shields pretty good already. Does she play the character? No. Um, it just sat idle for many years. And then... Um, what I finally did... What I finally did was I filed a copyright... Or not a copyright, a trademark notification with CCP. Because the name Marky Dragon is trademarked. I own the trademark. And... Um, so I provided them that and asked them to re just remove that name from the character. That's all I asked them to do. I, I couldn't get the character back. So, and uh, CCP knew that they that <laughs> that she had won it in court. I'm sure they laughed Welcome about that. The dragons. They're like, Early I'm sure. I'm sure they. Followed. I'm I'm sure they they at CCP they all had a what the fuck moment when you know. Um, they learned that my character was assigned in a court battle to my ex-wife and, um, early thing. And, um, so, I mean, I know I had plenty of what the fuck moments during that. Um, but anyway, uh, so probably, hmm, seven, eight years ago, I did the trademark thing and I um, got the name removed. And then I have a character that all he does is, uh, um, I don't play him at all. Uh, he's just skill farm that I put that name on so that nobody else could take it. Because there is some other, if you look up Marky Dragon in the game, there are some other Marky Dragons in the game, which are not me, um, but they have other names in there along with it 
and I just haven't done anything. I, I actually could get their names removed as well, but, um, you know, they're not a problem. So, yeah, I lost something digital in the divorce. I lost a lot more digital in the divorce than just that. I lost my whole company. It was awful. It, there's, there's a whole long story to all of it. And um, basically, that happened in uh, a little after 2010. And uh, I am still financially responsible for some of the stuff from back then and still dealing with it. Um, you know, it, 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 it's absolutely crazy, but it is, um, it's reality. And reality really sucks sometimes. So, and I'm sure that if uh, she's uh, seeing this here and hearing me talk about it, about still being impacted by it so many years later, um, that, that probably brings her some joy and I'm happy for her. I actually don't wish her any ill whatsoever. None. And, um, you know, so, yeah, that's all crazy. Well, she didn't go after the, she didn't have to go after something in the game. She went after my account. See, oh fuck, I'm already getting hurt on that again. My account was considered a company account and she won the company. And it was considered a company account because um, when we take fraud in our store, exclamation point coupon, hit that in chat. If you're a sub, it'll give you an extra message with a little bit bigger discount. But there's a discount there, save yourself a few bucks. Especially if you're like buying the Plex that's on sale right now, you gotta add that in, you know. Um, and the um, <clears throat> um, and if you are not a subscriber, but you are buying stuff from us already and you're using a coupon code, if you are spending over, say, two hundred bucks a month then it, it will pay off and save you even more. And maybe that's, maybe that's not even the right number. It might even be less than that. But anyway. Um, oh, shit, more oracles. Okay, pulling these guys in. So anyway, it was a company asset because when we take fraud, if there's any fraud, um, we can get... You know, we can put in requests for CCP to, to kill codes and stuff. Um, we do that regularly, but uh, typically what I'll do is redeem any codes to my account. And um, that way we don't allow the thieves to... Oh, here, I don't want to do those. We don't allow the thieves to profit from any theft and and theft is pretty rare these days we've we've got shit really worked out so it's it's very very rare these days um but back in the day um it was not uncommon for my account to have like 20 years worth of game time on it and everything uh which is also pretty crazy because you know redeeming those things so we used it as a tool. And so that's why it was considered a company account. Yeah. Oh, the Plex sale yesterday. So, okay, let me tell you about that, Hawk. I mean, like, I hear you. You know, that you, you bought some Plex and then, and then you got an email about the Plex being on sale Welcome just after that. Dragon. So, me catch 234 just followed. Mike, thank you for the follow. Welcome. So, I can tell you that um, that we know that that's that's an issue. 
And so if it was just a Plex sale, like it didn't have the other items with it, or like the other one that was a bonus, then um, if it was just a straight Plex sale, then anybody who purchases 24 hours before, we credit their account with um, what they would have saved. And um, in regards to to stuff though that ha it's a different item, see, when it's, um, <clears throat> we have the ability to kind of retro fix that when it's the exact same item. When it is a different item, when it has the skins, it becomes different. Uh, we don't have the ability to do that. But I would like to be able to do that every single time. And, um, but I can't. I can't. It, it just, uh, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. But, uh, you know, let, let's take something else. Like, um, the core packs just went on sale. And so, if you would, and, and they're off sale now. So anybody who bought one of the core packs from us before they went on sale for the previous 24 hours, we gave them a credit. And then uh, we shoot them an email letting them know that there was a credit. Uh, but that's only for 24 hours before. And um, so, yeah, I totally, I totally know what you're, what you're getting at on that. And um, yeah, I, I, I would feel a little raw, same way, same way. Yep. So. What are my drones fighting? They're fighting something and they're getting a little bit beat up. Uh, 24.1 hours too early. Yeah, if somebody makes a case and they were they were really like 25 hours and 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 they're really crying about it, I might especially if they're a good customer, but we do try and draw the line in 24 hours and the Plex sale that we have going on right now, our other Plex, our regular Plex is turned off. I turned it off about an hour Somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour before, um, before the, <clears throat> before the sale started. And that was to, um, you know, I, I didn't want, uh, I didn't want people buying it. And if people uh, contact us and say, you know, what's going on? Why, why can't I buy the type of Plex I want? I'll just tell them it's out of stock for the moment and that we'll get it restocked in shortly. Because I really can't tell y'all what's going on. If I could give notice that there was a sale coming up, I would. When CCP gives notice that there's a sale coming up, I can give uh, advance notice. But if they don't say that, if they don't say it, I can't say it. So it's just part of, you know, respecting them to have the first word and everything. So, and you know, CCP is the one who makes the game. Whatever they want, you know, is what we, what we need to do. You know, as long as it's lawful, they've never asked. They've never asked me to do anything illegal. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I do anything they want as long as it was legal. So, but uh, I'll preface that they've never asked us to do anything illegal. So that's not what I'm saying. I've had a very long relationship with CCP, so it's over 20 years now. And um, we got our start because we were the largest reseller in the United States for the game Ultima Online. Um, and uh, we were selling subscription codes. They were um, 30 and 90 day codes. There was nothing longer than that. They actually didn't do anything longer than that because 
Well, they weren't sure the game was even going to be successful. Isn't that funny? Um, and so, anyway, they um, uh, we were the largest reseller uh, for those codes. And then, um, let's see here. And uh, then we got some of the EVE codes, because EVE came out with uh, game time codes almost from the start, like a month after the game launched. And so then we were selling those. And we were buying them through normal wholesale channels, not directly from CCP. And uh, CCP took notice of how much we were selling of them which was, uh, we didn't know it, but it was apparently quite a bit in the beginning. And they reached out to us and asked us if we'd like to be an official reseller. Said sure. And the rest is history. So been, uh, been doing this for about 20 years with them. D CCP did not do Ultima, no. No. Different game company. Uh, it was Origin Systems back then, founded by Richard Garriott. Richard and I are friends to this day. And um, we support Shadow of the Avatar on our site, which is one of his games. And uh, we've, got, uh, we've got another game coming up that is, has some uh, relation um, to that stuff. Can't say anything more about it, but there will be something in the future. And anytime he comes out with a new game, if it's something that fits our model, then uh, we're happy to support. Oh, Kehu, you did some web design work for us about 20 years ago in exchange for EQ Plat or WoW Gold. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, prior to, prior to 2010, we did, um, we did deal in gray market stuff after, uh, 2010, we stopped and that's when we got other games that came to us immediately when we stopped. Cause I knew that we knew how to sell stuff cause we were probably the, the we didn't sell WoW Gold and, and EQ Plat ourselves, but we referred the sales, and I'm sure that we were the largest referrers and had the biggest community. We had two and a half million visitors per month to our forums and sites. It was really crazy. And um, so when we stopped doing that, which it was really good money, but when we stopped doing that, we, uh, I made an announcement about it. And, and it's thanks to one of the EQ guys that we stopped, uh, Jeffrey Zatkins. He's one of the original EQ developers and uh, has, a, has a spot in my business heart to this day. He showed me exactly how costly it was in terms of supporting that stuff and the customer service impact on it. And I decided that it wasn't good for the games, wasn't good for the community. And, um, you know, the game companies, the more it costs to support, the more, the more it costs you to play. And, um, and if the game is uh, in trouble at all, the more trouble it's in. Uh, meaning, like, financially. Like, you know, it has to make a profit. And so... Anyway, we made that announcement, and then we had multiple other game companies come to us when, um, when we made that announcement. Uh, the biggest one we worked with was probably World of Tanks. And uh, I think we did like a quarter million in, in sales for World of Tanks in the, in the first month we started doing sales for them. It was really incredible. So... 
Yeah, it was pretty nice. And I loved playing World of Tanks, but then when the company got taken over by my ex-wife, she screwed that relationship up and lost the contract, which was quite a shame. All right, no, no oracles. I'm watching for the oracles. Oh yeah, buying uh, U.S. stuff via ICQ. Two one two eight three zero two. That was my ICQ number. I still remember it to this day. Just like I remember the phone number to my house growing up. So, my dad still has that number. He had it transferred to his cell phone. Oh, come on back to Papa. No, drones. Don't get eaten up. It's not okay. Oh, shit. Here's the big guy. All right. We're going after him. And ignoring everything else. Oh, we're shooting the wrong thing. I'll have to be extra careful with this one. If it starts getting hit, I'll have to pull it back because it's um, it's got a lot of damage to it already. Never trusted third-party websites back then? No, there was a shit ton of fraud that happened. A ton. Okay, he's starting to take a little bit of damage. I'm watching it. A little bit more. I'm probably going to pull him back. Yep, pulling him back. Yeah, so we developed another company to help combat the fraud called Trust2. And um, it was pretty well known in the industry. And we, um, God, he's getting, wait, did I just pull the same ones out? No, they're both damaged. Okay. As soon as we got him gone, most of the rest of these will warp off. Um, I'm not, I'm not a bling fit. I, I have only one bling thing on this fit, which is, oh, no, I don't have any bling thing on this fit. It, this is not bling. This is the Omni Gila. Uh, 311 million fully fit. You just got to put in whatever drones are proper for you. All right, there we go. Done. Medium, large. All right, let's see what kind of loot we got. Anyway, I guess this all goes back around to, I've been doing this a long time. I've been playing Eve almost daily for 11 years now, something like that. Before that, it was on and off. What's that? Sanguine men's shoes I don't know if I should be impressed or not they look like vans high top vans yeah okay I'm not a tennis shoe person golly the loot really isn't very good it's not very good it's just not okay we'll salvage this um, this one item here Marky the Gray. Oh, the Eve quick reference sheet. Yeah, here I'll... Uh, he's referring to this right here. It's really old. But um, here I'll put the link in, in chat there. So, yeah. The work one blanks are worth one million each. Really? Oh. Well then, I'm hot damn, I'm doing good. 
How much uh, did I get off of that salvage? 15, four. So these are worth a million each? Really? I have 92 of them here. Are you shitting me? They're worth a million each. Really? If these are worth a million each, then I'm making good money. And, and I should, I should drop these off. And we're going to go dock up here. I got 92 of them. Okay, so we got to find out where we uh, put these in. Where I sell them at. I gotta get these drones repaired. Docking request accepted. So if these actually have a good market here, are people buying them here? People paying 495,000. People who don't want to transport them. So that's, you know, that's 40 million. So, all right. Well, uh, we just got to figure out where to sell them at. But so I'm doing this for, okay, first, let me not get distracted here. I know I'm freaking ADD and I know it, it's my superpower. But the 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 cape that I wear with my ADD sometimes gets turned around in the front and I step on it. As long as I don't do that, I have great superpowers with my ADD. I just have to focus sometimes. All right, so I'm going for this right here. This is what I want. I want this, and I want it. I want it on my null character, and I want it on my high set character. And so um, this, is, this is why I'm doing it. And since I'm gonna go as far as doing this, then I may as well go just a little bit further and get this. Uh, some of these are worth something, some of them are not. Um, there's a lot of issues that I have with the Skinner stuff. Um, I have a lot of issues with it. And so, you know, but it is what it is, which I hate that statement. I can't believe I just said that. It, that's a statement of defeat. It is what it is. I refuse to be defeated by the Skinner system. <laughs> oh, it's the shoot me first skin? Yes, I have my own skull on the front of it. Yeah. What are the other skins here? All right. So we got a Loki one, which... Uh, maybe in a different configuration, it'd look nice. This one is just meh. It's okay. And then, oh, now the Orthrus typically has not had a whole lot of good skins. This one's not bad. Um, so that one's not bad. And, oh, a Myrmidon. Oh, Myrmidon. I was hoping that was an Eos. But it's Myrmidon. Okay, well, and a little, uh, little skull action up there. Have you guys seen the other, the other ones? So we have packs in the store. And let me, uh, let me bring up my other account here. We have packs in the store. We have the Blood Raider stuff. And one of them is under 10 bucks and really good value. The other one is like 80 bucks. And, and it has good stuff in it if you buy Plex regularly or whatever. Um, it's not as good as the sale price on Plex right now, but it, um, it has a bunch of these skins and, and I don't know what the skins are going for in high sec. Um, but, um, 
the they look really really good yeah they just they look pretty beautiful and and i'm happy to to um so i redeemed one of each one of these packs on my account and but i haven't i haven't collected them yet and so um yeah here's here's the skins like the revelation which i'm going to give to my my pilot that flies a revelation um this one looks very nice and, and it's got a little skull up here and then and that's in the big pack um let's see what's in the see there's purifier which you know you're gonna be cloaked most of the time but you're gonna look damn good while you shoot at them when you uncloak i think that one these skins these are some of the best looking skins that we've had in a long time. These are just really, really nice. And, and I think that's what most of the people are going ahead and spending the money on the packs for. Uh, I did a breakdown in the, in the items in our store of what each would cost individually, but it doesn't have, there's no value on the skins. And, and that's because it just really depends. Um, so the Legion here, this is a very nice skin for the Legion. It makes it totally look like, you know, it almost looks like if it were a bug and it stung you, it would really hurt, which a Legion could be good at that in game. Um, a Deacon, I don't think I've ever flown a Deacon before. Um, I don't fly much logistics but that's nice this this always reminds me of like termite larva or something like that i don't know why um it does and in fact i've got a good amar song for that because they are a bunch of termites and larva in my opinion i'm just saying A cure. And this one looks really nice. So I fly a cure with dual webs on it. And I will use it as a webber on freighters sometimes. Balgorn. This is a this is a major PvP ship. I I've never really been able to use these in PvE. To the dragons. Hobbs underscore Legless just followed. They're primarily newt ships. Massive newt ships. Hobbs, thank you for the follow. And the Origer. I use this a lot. Uh, in Null. Uh, my holy roller fit. Rolling wormholes. Welcome to the dragons. Sonzo just followed. And then a Shimu. I have a cat named after this. Is he in here? I don't see him at the moment. He's an orange cat. Anyway, nice looking stuff. Slonos, thank you for the follow. There's a bunch of other stuff in those packs too. So. All right, so back to this. I'm surprised at how much these are worth. I didn't know they were worth 100 million each, or 1 million each. All right, I'm repaired. Run, Doc. And we don't have another one of the sites in here. Okay. We'll continue on. What is that? It's like three sites worth this morning and I got 92 of those. So I'm making 30 million a site. That's not bad.
I mean, as long as... As long as we have... Um, the ability to get it to market. Which I'll probably have to wormhole it. Okay, another one. Look at all these guys. Oh, Beanstalk Inc. Interesting. I gotta remember to treat my drones well. Out in the vastness of the starlit night, Marky Dragon's got a pitiful plight. He named his drone from Billy to Sue, but he leaves them behind. What's he gonna do? Oh, Marky, why'd you leave them all alone? Your drones are drifting in the cosmic zone. You hit warp speed and away you flew. Left your drones behind. Oh, Marky Boo Hoo. Lost in space. Man, he's going to have me no cap. Tears in the rain. Marky's heart. Ache is a pilot's pain. He warps all fast. Gets his crew like a cowboy's horse without a shoe. Oh, Marky, why'd you leave them all alone? I remembered my drones. drones I pulled them back in. They're not drifting in the cosmic zone. You hit warp speed, and away you flew. Left your drones behind. Slumbering, this song in oh, Slumbering Marky Sloth are your favorites? Yeah, Boo. Slumbering Sloth is really good. That one is just really great. In the tavern, they all shake their head. I have, uh, I have a couple more that I'm working on. But I haven't had as much time to work on on writing new songs for a little bit now. I've just had a lot of other work to do. And it, it takes a bit of time to write good lyrics. Now Marky sits, his ship's barred in. His coffee's gone warm, things look grim. He's learning lessons hard and true. Hopes his drones 
can forgive him too. Oh, Marky, why'd you leave them all alone? All right, there is at least one oracle here. Your drones are drifting in the cosmic zone. You hit warp speed, and away you flew. Waiting for that oracle to come back. Left your drones behind, oh Marky Boo Hoo. I'm going so after if first. You spot drones adrift, think of Marky's tail. Oh, why am I hitting the wrong thing here? Don't let your own Darn it. fleet stray. In this cosmic gale, scoop them up, keep them close, show them the light. Hold on tight to your drones, make their futures bright. I'll play the Slumbering Sloth song. I play it at the end of the shows a lot, and I play it when space trucking, but it's a good song for those of you who want to hear it. I got myself a freighter called the Slumbering Sloth. She's slow and she's bulky. Oh, what a hoss. First time we set out from Gita to Amar, I knew it wouldn't be easy, but we made it this far. Lumbering through the black like a drunken hippo dance. Every ganker out there Just looking for a chance But I can't help loving this clunky brick Even when we're ambushed, I still get a kick I like big ships and I cannot lie That's the album cover You other pilots can't deny When a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled And that massive hull is revealed You get sprung, wanna pull up tough Cause you know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink Gotta haul that load Flying freighters never gets old Dodging gankers left and right In the lanes of old Every trip's an adventure Every haul a story told Catalysts in the shadows Waiting for a shot But my slumbering sloth She gives it all she's got hey! Uh, Snows Thank you, yeah We made it through the storm But We, we did We did Have considerable Warping damage forever, Like paint that never dries but there's a magic in her lumber, a beauty in her size. She's ugly and she's costly, and she's slow as can be. But when she hits that dock, it's a sight to see. I like big ships and I can't. I'm pulling them back in. You other pilots can't deny when a freighter warps in. It's cargo hold filled and that massive hole is revealed you get sprung wanna pull up tough cause you know that ship is stuck with cargo to the brink gotta haul that load flying freighters never gets old hey! it's probably my favorite song Every gate we cross uh, in the slumber. You all can have access to the music. Uh exclamation point music. And I'm the boss. From the shield's last flicker to the cargo Most of my stuff is published. Touch. Not everything, but most. I can't help but love her. I love her so much. I like big ships and I can't. 
You other pilots can't deny when a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled and that massive hole is revealed. You get sprung or pull up tough. Cause you know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink Gotta haul that load Flying freighters never gets old hey. So here's to the freighters The haulers of the stars Though they're slow and unwieldy They're the true space czars In the slumbering sloth I'll take a, another spin Cause flying big ships, man, that's where the fun begins. I like big ships and I cannot lie. You other pilots can't deny when a freighter warps in with its cargo hold filled and that massive hole is revealed. You get sprung, wanna pull up tough. Cause you know that ship is stuck With cargo to the brink Gotta haul that load Flying freighters never gets old hey! Yeah, I like big ships and I cannot lie In the slumbering sloth will soar and never die With every curve and every Two oracles. My big old freighter, I stand tall. Fly safe, y'all. Yeah, the song's really good. All right, we got to pull these guys in. Saw who in concert? Yeah, I understand these guys sound a bit like who, or my stuff sounds a bit like who, but it's probably just because how many, um, how Mongolian throat singer rock bands do you know of? <laughs> you know, so it's like same genre. this guy before I release the drones. Making repair 
Earth with my base. In J space at her secret base. At East stand use her location found. Space police gathered all around. No more moves in the starlit chest. Well, I'm going slow. Now she's a legend, her tail we sing. In pubs and ports, her story rings. Talia Cray, the pilot free, forever sails in Whedon's memory. Let's draw it in. Swap them out. Alright, so we should be getting the uh, the money ship here soon. My cap is held up pretty good in this site. There it is, all by its lonesome. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. See if it's any good. Salvage it too. All right. 42 of the war clones, so I'll take that. Gives me like a lot of manure. Got 134. So essentially, I guess they're worth a million each. So that's like 134 million worth. All right, drones, come back to Papa. I probably should unload them. 
in case I get popped. But if I hit like, you know, 350 million worth of loot, this ship is paid for, which would be nice. Yeah, I think that I shall drop these off. Drive active. So the, these war clones, you have to sell them in Delve? No, I think I can sell these in high sec. So. Right. If you're watching on YouTube, see you in the next episode.